All right. Welcome. How are y'all? Welcome to the movie talk for movie fans. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. John Campia. Uh, <laughs> fuck off. All right. So let's talk about some movie shit, right? That's what we're here for. How about a shot before we get this going? Hold on. Where's my old crow medicine show? More medicine, less show. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'll be back. We are gentlemen. We're not beasts. William Hurt. The, the uh, proposition. We're not beasts. You wouldn't know what I'm talking about. All right. Slaughter. Ow! Let's talk about Point Break. All right. The trailer dropped. Pretty dope. Pretty dope, boy. Fresh. Not. Nah, it's okay. Uh, basically, Point Break. One of my all-time favorite movies. I watch it. I could watch it over and over. I do watch it over and over. It's one up there with. I'm not saying it's a masterpiece by any means, but it's so captivating. And uh, Swayze at his best, Keanu at his best, Busey at his best. Uh, just phenomenal. Um, so, Brody doesn't look like Brody. Utah doesn't look like Utah. And there's no surfing. Well, they did show some chicks surfing a wave at the very end. Uh... And then you like you can tell the ending scene is like where he's like it's time to go like the wave he's like one more wave you can see that in a preview where he's like you've killed a lot of people and he just falls off maybe like kills himself like Brody did in the original Point Break not sure that looked like the ending to me um, great actor as far as the guy playing Brody not too familiar with uh, the guy playing Utah. Um, what I think, I thought Gerard Butler was, had something to do with this. Maybe I'm just thinking of the other surf movie he did, but I could have swore Gerard Butler was in this movie. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, I think if they retitled the movie, it would be fine. It'd probably be a great movie and we wouldn't give a shit as much about, oh, we Point Break, uh, you know, call it something else like Fast and Furious did with Point Break. Clear Point Break rip off at the first one at least and uh they could have just named it another movie because this is not you know and I, i'm all for not going directly uh as far as staying strictly to the original you know i like a little switching switch up and but it's just ugh, I, I didn't even really care for this movie to be remade but if you're gonna remake it do it fucking right man and who knows? We could all be surprised. It could be fucking fantastic. Uh, I mean, I granted they can't get a Patrick Swayze look-alike. That would just be disrespectful. But surfing, man, more about the surfing. Fuck the extreme sports. Now, like I said, name it another movie. Uh, I digress. Point Break is very touchy. If they ever make the bit remake the Big Lebowski, I'll fucking find these people who are making it, and I will protest. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> All right, moving on. Suicide Squad rumors. Mm, mm, mm. Can't wait for this movie to come out. Almost more excited to see it than Batman vs Superman. Almost, not quite, not quite. Joker, favorite villain of all time. Next, Lex Luthor, who will be a Batman vs. Superman. But, Batman is going to be, obviously, I've been saying this for years and nobody's commenting. He's on the IMB list as Suicide Squad. Not rumored, nothing. 
He's on there. Um, IMD is not always reliable, but nobody's everybody's surprised that like Batman's in the movie. Not surprised per se, but they're like, yeah, it hasn't been official. But now it's official. No, it's been official. I've seen Oh shit, I'm spilling shit. Ha! I sh oh no! Oh, not good. Got a lot of cleanup to do. I am clumsy clum clum today. Oh man, not cool. Not cool at all. My cream soda drink. All right. Anyway, rumors have it um, the Joker's in it. No I'm kidding. Joker's gonna be like a Hannibal Lecter kind of guy. He's uh, basically um, going to be in jail, from what I hear, the entire most of the part of the movie, besides the flashbacks where you see him with Harley Quinn and fighting Batman and all this stuff. Uh, so they're gonna be going to him, and he's gonna kind of be running things, and I think he'll had this master plot where he gets out at the end, just like Hannibal Lecter did uh, in uh, Silence of the Lambs. I think it's very Silence of the Lambs-esque is what they're going to go for. I don't think he'll be on the missions with like Deadshot. Rumors have it, Deadshot goes in at the beginning of the movie, tries to kill, uh, tries to kill uh, the Joker. Uh, Harley Quinn intercepts somehow, then they get captured. Uh, in Arkham and taken to uh, that prison where people that aren't crazy go to the bad guys that aren't quite crazy and then that's when they get recruited and whatnot so uh, that'll be interesting Lex Luthor apparently is one of the uh, he will be involved in Suicide Squad as well they're getting a weapon for him they're getting paid to get a weapon for him I believe and the weapon is actually uh, Rick Flagg's dad and Rick Flagg's been working for him the whole time and has a little secondary thing too going on. These are all rumors. Uh, I've seen Batman on the car, the Joker car, blah, 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 blah. Awesome, great, cool, sweet. Even looks a little different from the, uh, from the, from the one we're seeing now, which could be possibly in, uh, Okay, sorry. Could even possibly be like Suicide Squad. Those flashbacks with Batman and Joker could very well be actually before Batman vs Superman takes place, which I'm pretty sure the flashbacks will be. Uh, as far as the actual Suicide Squad, whether that's going to be before or after, I believe it is after. Um, definitely. Uh, Cyborg, is he going to be in Batman vs Superman? Yes, this is what I think is going to happen. This is speculation, of course. Um, he's a main character. He's like the Thanos. Uh, no, excuse me, not Cyborg. I apologize, geek fans of all people. Um, fucking uh, Doomsday. Doomsday. He's like the Thanos of DC as far as uh, just fucking hard to kill, man. He killed Superman, so you, there you go. Uh, but um, I don't think we're going to, I think they're going to stretch it. Just like they have done Thanos for like one, two, three, four movies, maybe. Um, I uh, definitely think that we'll see. I think that they're going to get Zod. Lex Luthor will get Zod's body, and he will uh, do experiments on it, which uh, basically will create Doomsday. And I think maybe like a post-credit scene, we'll just see Doomsday's eyes open or something after many of tests. Uh, so that'll be interesting, uh, but I don't think he'll be the main villain in the first one. Hopefully, it's more of a Batman versus Superman, Lex Luthor kind of thing. Uh, but Doomsday uh, is going to take a whole Justice League to beat that guy and maybe temporarily kill Superman. But he'll come back if, uh, depending on how much they want to do about that, or he'll really injure. Like Bane, like Bane was supposed to break Batman. Everybody thought Bane was going to break Batman's back, and. Uh, Dark Knight Rises, which he kind of did, I guess, uh, but it was more like, uh, oh, you hurt my back, but I'm good now, because some guy kind of helped me bend my back back really quickly, and I'm good to go again, uh, whereas in the comics, he was in a wheelchair for a long time and all that good stuff, uh, so that being said, uh, I'm just stoked, man. I I just wish these movies would leak online, honestly, because I feel like I'm getting a car wreck or die before these movies come out because they're so far away. Oh, I got a whole fucking year I got to wait about this shit, man. Fuck. 
I don't want to wait a year, man. Shit could happen. The world could explode. I fucking Independence Day. Oh, man. All right. So, um, Johnny, Qu uh, let's go on to Johnny. Qu I could talk about Suicide Squad forever. I really, really could. Uh, Johnny Quest. Never been a fan of the show. Never really watched the show. But Robert Rodriguez is doing it. Um, Robert Rodriguez, man, has this weird fascination with kids' movies. He did like four spy kids' movies. One was supposedly in 4D. Never saw any of them. And which is weird. It's like the guy did El Mariachi. He did Desperado, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, Dust Till Dawn, uh, fucking the Grindhouse flick. Uh, like, and then he does, and, oh, and Sin City, and then he's like, ah, I'm going to do some Spy Kid movies, and now I'm going to do, like, old 80s B-movie kind of-esque Machete. Machete was really cool. It was one of the best trailers in the Grindhouse flick. I'm glad they made a movie out of it. I even enjoyed Machete too. I'm a Machete guy. Not many people are the same. That being said, I am looking forward to Machete in space. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. All right. So, uh, good for you, Robert Rodriguez. Could be a good moneymaker, and uh, I'm sure a lot of fans will go see it. And uh, you directing, man, I'm I'm all for it. I trust you, brother. I just don't watch those Spy Kid movies. I'm sorry, I don't. I know if I pop my collar, the nerds will really hate me. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Cause we've all been waiting for this, folks. We've all been waiting. For this, the reboot of League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I, for one, enjoyed the movie. I really did. I thought it was pretty damn good. Um, you know, I like Dorian Gray. I like the characters. I like the Doctor and Jekyll and Hyde, where they made him almost like a Hulk. Uh, I like the fact that Tom Sawyer was in it. Uh, yeah, like I said, Dorian Gray, Tom Sawyer, fucking Jekyll and Hyde, fucking all these great. The guy that basically Indiana Jones is based off, who Sean Connery played. Um, you know, it had his it was it had its flaws. Oh, and Nemo, fucking Nemo, Captain Nemo. But uh, if they can do this right, man, I think it's an ing incredible array array of different members of different stories. I mean, fucking Tom Sawyer and fucking Jekyll and Hyde and Dorian Gray and the same. It's it's a great concept, and I hope they can really do it well. And I think now with the whole comic genre of getting huge and sci-fi being as huge as it is, that it could happen. I, I mean, I hope they do it, and I hope they do it right. It's a shame that it took Sean Connery. Sean Connery is just becoming an honorary old man. Like, I was offered the Matrix, but I didn't understand it. He was offered Neo, and uh, but I just didn't get it. He was offered Gandalf. Uh, I just didn't understand it. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I think I can understand this movie. But then he didn't. And uh, he just was looking for an excuse to retire. Motherfucker. Good riddance, Sean. You've been cool, but you're kind of a dick. All right, where are we going next here? Uh, uh, Expendables 4. Here is my thoughts about Expendable 4. So, man, there's a lag on here. It was doing so well. Okay, here's my thoughts on it. Um, Hulk Hogan is claiming he is going to be the villain. Wishful thinking, Hulk. We would love, yeah, I know you'd love some type of paycheck and be back on the big screen. It ain't happening. If they even make an Expendables 4, I, maybe he'll throw him in, but I don't see him being the main villain. Um. I no nothing to do with his acting. I mean, you don't have to be a great actor to be a villain in Expendables. I mean, they had the first the first villain was uh, fuck 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 fuck. Uh, it was like Steve Austin and uh, Eric Roberts. Both are pretty. Eric Roberts. 
underrated, great actor. Uh, Steve Austin's not bad for a wrestling actor, you know, kind of same gig usually. Uh, be, just don't talk much, but be a badass. That's all Hulk's got to do. I mean, so let's not discredit his acting. <laughs> like, oh, he doesn't have the acting chops for Expendables 4. Make it rated R. And, uh, I mean, Jean-Claude Van Damme was a villain in 2. I mean, I love it. I'm the hugest Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. To see that roundhouse kick on the big screen was, oh. You know, I haven't seen the third one. They made it PG-13. I'm like, eh. I'm sure I'll eventually watch it, but it didn't do that well domestically. Uh, I think worldwide it did do pretty decent, but it'll be interesting. I mean, what else is he? He's going to try to do Rambo again. He's got Apollo coming up. So if they do an Expendables for it, it'll probably be a while. But, uh, you know, she cast Hulk Hogan's son as the villain. He's a real life villain. He killed somebody. I, I all right. Uh, Gambit in the motherfucking house! They are making it an origin story. I have always had Channing Tatum's back since fucking Coach Carter. Uh, fucking Havoc. Uh, Soderbergh movie. Uh, he's gotten better and better. I used to call him the Eminem of the acting game because he's like always oh, the white guy in the black movies kind of thing. But he's really doing his uh, thing these days. And, uh, I don't really. I really liked Taylor Kitsch's Gambit. I, Taylor Kitsch has just gotten a bad rap, man. He kills it in all his performances, but he uh, he just the movies are shit. I mean, Battle uh, John Mars, John from Mars, fucking Battleship, um, fucking uh, X Men origins wolverine origins like ugh, he's just called a bad rap but he was a great gambit i loved him uh loved him in savages wasn't that critically acclaimed i personally enjoyed it but he's just he's not a bad actor at all and i never would have thought i'd be defending the guy from friday night lights the show but he's he's awesome uh, i think it was in lone survivor too if i'm not mistaken yeah fucking he's great um, it's a shame they couldn't bring him back, but they're getting rid of that whole last movie. Totally wiped out X-Men Origins, uh, one, uh, the Wolverine, and totally wiped out, uh, X-Men 3, which was beautiful. He was like, I'm gonna get rid of all that by time travel. Brian Singer, you may be a one-trick pony, but damn it, you know your X-Men movies. All right. Um... Not to mention Matthew Vaughn had a lot to do with uh, bringing X-Men back and, and, and also producing and having some scripts and writing on the uh, Days of Future Past. I'm really looking forward to Apocalypse. They cast my main man. Blah. I've really been a fan of him since Sucker Punch. I'm a huge Sucker Punch fan. Fuck you if you don't like it. Uh, Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. Perfect choice. Perfect choice. So ecstatic. Uh, Nightcrawler looks like a little bitch. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I do like the fact that they cast uh, the guy from Mud and Joe as Cy young Cyclops, but it's going to be weird to see him. He's always had a country accent. The boy can act, but it's going to be interesting to see how he talks without that accent. So it hits uh, theaters uh, 2016. I'm telling you, next year is going to be. We got Civil War, which is basically an Avengers 2.5. We've got Batman vs. Superman. <gasps> We've got motherfucking Joker Suicide Squad. We've got fucking Gambit Origin Story with Channing Tatum and. I guess he's gonna grow his hair out, man. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what they're gonna do with that, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully tentatively buy that and hope that works. It to all you Stephen King clown killer clown fans, it's done. It is a wrap. It would have been great. The director's awesome. The kid they cast, Maze Runner, uh, Meet the Millers. Can't quite remember his name. I could see him as it. All day. I know they wanted to older it, the studios, but that kid's just got a face, man, that like could definitely look like a fucking killer clown, dude. I'm telling you. And he's not that young. Like, what do you want, like a 50 year old killer clown? 
Uh, it's going to be a two part. It's going to be. It was going to be a two part movie, I believe. Yeah, and uh, yeah, director left, and then after that, due to budget cuts, they wanted to cut budgets and all this shit, and and uh, so yeah, it's completely shelved. So sorry, it is what it is. <clears throat> So, I know it's a little laggy. Jason Momoa, Mimosa, whatever the fuck you yeah. like the drink. Let's <laughs> throw it. He loves to back out of movies. Dog, you ain't that big of a star to be demanding more money. You're cool. I like you. But, dude, you're not that do these movies for a lower budget, start killing it like you didn't bullet to the head, which must have offered you a lot of money for, to, to take that and turn down Magnificent Seven. Uh, maybe he felt like he didn't have a big enough role. Maybe his character was not that. Whatever. They got, I don't know if they replaced the character, but they added Peter Skarsgård. Skarsgård. Fucking love that dude. He's so just calm and mysterious and cool. Oh, I love him. Like he just he can make he can like look at you and like say something and you're just like fuck. Like I don't know to fear you, respect you, maybe both. But he's just got that I mean the skeleton key killed it. Even Flight Plan, which was a ridiculous movie. I thought it was good when I first came out. And I watched it again. And he's, he's like walking out with the baby. And spoiler alert if you haven't seen Flight Plan. And they're like, what is she holding? And like everybody didn't believe she had a kid. It's her kid. It's a baby. <laughs> anyway, Jodie Foster likes to make movies, but there's no husband involved. Oh, in Flight Plan, he died. <laughs> oh, and the other one where she's uh, seeking justice, like that Kevin Bacon movie, he died. <laughs> Be right back. I'm going to get a cigarette. Just to let you know, cigarettes are bad. Don't try this at home. Do it in your bathroom stalls at school. <laughs> I jig, I jig. It was a that was a mixture of kid and joke. Uh, so anyway, Magnificent Seven gonna be awesome. Uh, I like the cast, Jason Mimosa. Dude, get your head out of your ass, bro. Blade Runner! Da -da 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 -da. Blade Runner! Oh, man. Excuse me. I'm not a coke addict. I just got allergies. Kobe! Nope. It's more like Shaq. Okay. So, uh, Blade Runner is being remade. It seems like all these actors are going back to their roots. Um, what else can they do? You got... Stallone going back to his style. Harrison Ford's like, yep, I'm going to go back. Uh, I want to do another indie. I want to do another Blade Runner. Because what else am I going to do? Because all they're offering me is shit movies. Expendables 3. Um, which I think he is above that. He's sh really surprised he did it. Like, must, must be the money! All right. Blade Runner. All you Blade Runner fans, be happy. It's coming. Black Mass with Johnny Depp. Whoa. Whoa. Is Depp coming back? Is he coming back? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. He's really... He used to be very artistic, and then all of a sudden, you know, he's making five pirate carrots to be in movies. We only needed two. Uh, maybe three. Three sucked, but... Fuck. The first two were decent. 
why? I mean, they're making money. Hopefully, this will bomb and they'll stop fucking making them. But like, Disney owns his ass. Start doing creative fucking shit. Um, you know, you did a Hunter S. Thompson book and uh, this. Not fear and loathing, but the other one, I guess, that's how forgettable it was. Giovanni Rizbi, R- Ribisi was great in it. Uh, shit, that was just about the, the luck. Anyway, decent movie, not that great. Uh, met his new wife on that. Um, he's getting old, man. And De Niro started doing the same thing. Pacino started doing the same thing. Ford started doing the same thing. They started making shit movies in their old age. And they're also not getting the parts that they used to offer to them. But De Niro's actually still kind of... First, he was just doing a lot of straight-to-DVD movies. I'm like, De Niro, you used to actually care about what movies you did. You obviously don't give a fuck anymore. You're just like, I've made my great movies. I'm a legend. I don't need to make good movies anymore. I just keep making these checks for my grandkids and children and wife and shit when I die. But here lately, Silver Linings Playbook. Um, he's got a new movie coming out with uh, Anne Hathaway that could be good, could be great. I know it's uh, from the same people, Nancy Myers, I believe. Uh, so... Um, hopefully this will put Johnny Depp back on the map. Uh, another gangster movie. It didn't work out with uh, Public Enemies, but Michael Mann's has been on a shit show here lately, um, unfortunately. Uh, Wonder Woman. Let's talk about some Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Uh, uh, uh. Well, apparently Wonder Woman's been around for 200 years, so when she goes into... Batman vs Superman, it's not going to be like, oh, I just appeared and learned about worlds and stuff. No, she's been around for 200 years from a, a source that I've heard. Latino Review, I believe. Uh, they've added Chris Pine. Um, I'm not too familiar with the with the uh, the Wonder Woman characters, but uh, or the, excuse me, the comic. And the characters in the comic, I was hoping that like they would announce them as an unannounced role, and he turns out to be Green Lantern. That'd be really cool. Just be like, because I could see like he's from space, kind of in a way, he goes to space, and she's in space, and their galaxy's far away, or whatever the fuck. So I could see like him like being Green Lantern, but apparently he is some character in a fucking movie that I've never seen. Or a comic book that I've never read. Uh, already talked about Point Break. There was some stuff I really want to talk about the box office, but for now we will cut this short. And uh, it's been fun. It's been real. And uh, signing off. Peace.